Bird Story is the latest project released by Ken Gao through his studio Freebird Games, who developed to the moon, and came out about a month ago. Now, I'm not going to do my normal kind of review, which is like a minimum of 10 minutes, because a bird story is like only an hour long, so I'm just kind of going to do a sort of review, having only played this just last night. Let's just get it out there. I loved a bird story. Like to the moon, you're looking at what is basically an interactive, linear story more than a video game, and like to the moon, it's a story well worth sitting through. Unlike to the moon, it doesn't tell the story in a traditional way. There's no text or dialogue of any kind here to tell you what's going on. In a bird story, the visuals tell you the story, the whole story. Knowing this beforehand, I was a little bit skeptical going in, but I have to say it works really well. The story doesn't feature anything from To The Moon, although they are in the same universe, this happens way before Dr. Watts and Rosalind's time. Instead, it focuses on a young schoolboy. He's just a normal kid, but he seems to be quite lonely. He has parents, but they never seem to be around. He's surrounded by kids at school, but judging how they're represented by black shapes who you can just walk through as if they weren't even there, and portrays a similar picture of the tenants where he lives, the story makes it clear that he doesn't interact with people very much, or anyone, really. Like he's so shy that he's locked away from everyone around him, and is barely noticed by them in return. Walking home one day, he encounters an injured bird being chased around by a badger. He rescues it, and takes it home. Now, I don't really want to go too much further since it's not a long story, but what develops from there is what is essentially your basic story of the importance of friendship and such like. Yeah, it's a bit cliché, but despite the fact that it's not as original as To The Moon, it is a fantastic story, and I think other developers might want to be taking notes. Through the visual storytelling, Ken manages to tell a genuinely heartfelt tale infused with emotion and humour, and a charm that I haven't really seen in a story for a while. From the elation and joy you feel as you watch the relationship develop between the boy and the bird, and the effect it has on the boy's life, and as his imagination is released to run wild. Seriously, sometimes you might wonder why the hell this kid's on to the near heartbreak when it all has to end, as all good things inevitably do, is just... I don't really know how to put it and be able to do justice to it, but I found it to be a very powerful story. The fact that the game manages to take what is frankly quite a cliché story, and turn it into a unique experience without using a single word that I enjoyed from start to finish, is a testament to Ken's sheer skill at telling stories. And obviously, with this being Freebird Games, the music that accompanies the story is nothing short of gorgeous. It doesn't stick with you afterwards quite like To The Moon's soundtrack does, but it sets the mood and underpins the tone perfectly for every single situation in the story, and goes a very long way to helping the visuals tell the story. Obviously this isn't going to be for everyone. If you didn't like To The Moon because of its lack of gameplay, well, you'll hate a bird story since it has even less gameplay, if you can believe that's to be possible. In all honesty, it feels even more linear than To The Moon did, which is a bit of a double-edged sword. It's not entirely a bad thing, but it's not entirely a good thing. On the one hand, it allows for a sharply focused story with fantastic timing and just the right pace. But on the other hand, it doesn't feel like you're doing anything. Whereas in To The Moon, although, you know, that was also very linear, you did at least feel like you were interacting with it. Personally, I didn't find this to be a problem because the visual storytelling is just so powerful. But I wouldn't blame you if you just looked it up on YouTube, even though I do think you would lose something from watching it on there. I was going to say that if you're a fan of To The Moon, then you should like this. But, and I know this isn't very useful, that's not a guarantee. Their methods of storytelling are so different, there's a good chance you'll either love it or you'll hate it, so you are going to be taking something of a gamble with this. Well, not much of a gamble, it's only four quid, but I think it's a gamble worth taking. If you're a fan of Ken's storytelling, then buy this game and give it a go. If you do like it, you'll witness how you can take a cliché idea 
and make it feel unique and infused with imagination just by telling the story in a different way. And you'll support a great developer whilst you're at it.